afternoon, everyone. Well done. You're all the hardcore crowd has made it to the very end. Um, I'll try not to keep you too long. So I'm here to talk to you about Test Card. This terrible picture is me. This is an I'm Andrew. I'm the Chief Sci Scientific Officer for Test Card. The much better posed photograph here is Luke Heron, who's my co-founder. Now, we're both friends. We've been friends for many years. And Test Card comes out of the, the back of a conversation we had around how awful men are at going to the doctors and get, getting their health care. Uh, women are considerably better at accessing healthcare than men do, but the reality is we're sitting on the very edge of a, a digital revolution in healthcare, and people are taking much more control over their own healthcare. Now at TestCard, we've managed to embed a urine diagnostic kit into a postcard, and along with a uh, accompanying app, we can accurately um, and confidently provide immediate results in the privacy and comfort of your own home. The cards can be ordered through the website or through the app and be delivered delivered the next day, and you use the app to actually scan. Uh, the app turns the, the camera of the phone into a clinical grade scanner and uh, can deliver results more accurately than many of the diagnostic tests that you find in hospitals. A lot of people suffer from um, isolation from healthcare. We're very lucky in the UK in that we don't tend to have economic or geographic isolation from healthcare, but that's a very real issue across the rest of the world. But we do still have people who are socially isolated from healthcare, both in the sense that uh, there are some conditions in which there are social stigmas attached, such as sexually transmitted diseases. People do not want to put their hands up and identify themselves as maybe having these conditions. But there are a number of people who are socially isolated in terms of frailty or mental health. Now, these people who have significant health concerns, and it's not the right thing to be dragging those people out of their homes and taking them into clinics or GP surgeries. It's actually detrimental to their health. So to be able to manage many of these conditions, or at least pre-screen for serious conditions within the home, is uh, exactly what these people need. So we'll be launching in June with two products. This is a urinary tract infection test and a pregnancy test. Now, urinary tract infections account for millions of uh, pounds in NHS money every year in um, unnecessary and ultimately avoidable admissions, and a pregnancy test market is an extremely well-established market. But the main reason we developed these to start with is these were the two types of technology we needed to develop within our app, and these support the rest of our pipeline. Um, over time, we'll be developing an ovulation optimization kit so people will actually be able to track their ovulation cycles and identify the primary time to be trying to have a child. And we can pre-order the pregnancy test to arrive at exactly the right time for them. We can then do a pregnancy management at the back end to be able to look at screening for preeclampsia and gestational diabetes. We'll also be bringing a drug testing kit so we can do immediate screening for drug testings. This has got a lot of interest from some of the... Uh, some of the um, uh, commercial workplace screenings because there's no issues around chain of custody. We'll also be able to monitor for long-term health conditions such as diabetes and kidney disease because we can actually track the results as they go along. And as we said, we can do STIs so people don't have to be holding their hands up to say they may have these conditions. They can have the card arrive at their home in a pregnancy envelope and deal with that result where they are. Our long-term goal in about 18 months, two years' time, we'll be bringing out a prostate health screen. And this was one of the things that actually triggered my friend and I to actually develop Test Card. We love the idea of being able to send your dad a prostate postcard uh, to be able to screen to see if they have a high risk of prostate cancer. But essentially, there's not really any limit to sort of tests we can develop along this route. And uh, although we're starting with urine and saliva, because it's minimally interventional, this allows us to get into people's homes so that they're able to get comfortable and familiar with managing their own health care. Our route to market is predominantly a direct to consumer, uh, so it will be through our app and through our website. But we have various other options as well through partnerships and working with some of the current market suppliers. In the last month, we've managed to sign a memorandum of understanding with a major NHS trust uh, for which they are, we're going to work with them to improve their provision and their governance of their current point of care testing that they're doing within their hospitals. And really, that's as much as I wanted to say initially, because I wanted to give people the opportunity to be able to ask questions. Uh, so does anyone have anything they want to ask at all? So how much are they asked likely to retail that? So there'll be three ninety nine, dollars um, direct to consumer. Uh, if we're supplying to GPs, it'll probably be around half that. Our production costs are very low. 
Uh, one of the great things about providing tests in this sort of format in terms of a postcard, if you're comparing sort of a like-to-like -like market, it's probably easiest to compare pregnancy because that's a really well-established market. Now, the clear blue digital um, is probably our equivalent because we can not just tell if someone's pregnant with this sort of technology, uh, we can actually tell how pregnant they are, so how far they're actually along in their pregnancy. So the equivalent of Queer Blue Digital, every time someone does a pregnancy test, they've got to throw away a Casio watch. There's so much di um, disposable digital tech there and plastic involved in it. So we've actually, as a byproduct, ended up with something that's got really good environmental credentials because the disposable element's just card, it's recyclable. Yeah. Excellent question. So the gentleman's asking me, what's the next step if you screen positive on something like the urinary tract infection one? What do you do next? So what we're hoping in the long term, once we've built up some market credibility, is actually you can directly access, the results are directly accessible by your doctor. So the fact that we're trialing with the NHS works really well because that's giving us access to the electronic patient record. So if the patient wishes to, they can opt into those results going straight to the GP. And if these cards have been delivered through the GP, um, they don't ever ne necessarily have to get there. Now the great thing, and one of the reasons why so much money is wasted on urinary tract infections in the, in the NHS every year, is because um, antibiotics are inappropriately prescribed or not prescribed. Um, with the way our app works, we can actually contextualize the results. So rather than actually just telling someone, well, you have this concentration of nitrites, you have this concentration of leukocytes, you want to know an answer to a question. So we're going to tell you, yes, you have a UTI. No, you don't have a UTI. But for the GP, what we can actually start doing is building in uh, within those algorithms the nice guidelines. So the National Institute of Clinical Excellence provide guidelines to GPs all the time in how they're supposed to manage particular disease states and the outcomes of particular tests. They can't keep up with those. They're, they're, they're too busy. They've got too much going on. So the fact that we can build those directly into the app, we can actually provide a decision support mechanism for the doctors as well. So. Um, they end up knowing exactly what they need to do. So they know whether they need to send a urine specimen to the lab to test for culture and sensitivity to see what antibiotics they need to prescribe. They know whether they need to directly prescribe based on the fact that that's a female over the age of 65 and they've got a high level of nitrites and leukocytes in their urine. So it works extremely well as contextualizing results and answering a question rather than just giving you a number. So margins on the card. So like we said, we'll probably be retailing around $3.99 direct to consumer. In terms of where we are at the moment, our production costs are around 70 pence per card, but that's because we're not at scale. What we're expecting is over time is that cost is going to come down as our um, shelf life goes up, we can do larger batches. Um, at the point we're producing in India, India we'll probably be doing about two pence per card. So there's a very good, um, there's very good markup on that essentially. Any other questions? Wow, my presentation must have been good then. OK, so we've got a, a stall upstairs. You can come pick up a pitch deck. Um, it was on the last slide as to what stall we're at. Is it 89? Yeah, so come, come and pick up a pitch deck. It's got a lot of the information in that I was talking about there. Or come and talk to me or Luke afterwards, and we'll be happy to answer any more questions. Other than that, thank you very much for your time, and I hope you had a good day.